Can you guess what I got in my cooler today, guys? I don't know. It's going to be a surprise. What? No way. It's an RTX 3080 Founders Edition. That's crazy. Man, I can't believe I just found that in my cooler. Well, there's only one thing for it. We're going to have to tear it apart and throw some magical toothpaste on it and see what it does. Hey folks, we're going to start off with some Cryo Knot from uh, Thermal Grizzly and we'll do the dye. Everyone kind of does their own thing. Don't do something you're not comfortable with. You gotta, gotta pick your own path when it comes to uh, thermal paste. This is what I do. And then I put a tiny little dab for good luck. Okay. This blob I'm adding right here, that is going to contact the VRM for the VRAM. I'm just going to use that little, the back side of that paddle. There we go. Just squish down nicely. If you ever worry that you don't have it thick enough, there's nothing wrong with going down the center like this, just to raise the height. With this stuff, it's better to have uh, too much than not enough. And it's not that expensive, so you don't really, well, if you buy it in bulk, like me, you don't need to worry about the price as much. If you buy a small container of like 
30 grams or 50 grams, then you might want to go more sparingly than I do. But that's up to you. Okay, now we're ready to do the back plate. So you do want to put this stuff a little bit thicker on the back um, as you're trying to mimic a three millimeter pad. So what I'm doing here is I'm actually adding putty to an area where there were no pads before. Uh, this is basically just where there's VRAM on the die side. So I'm banking on the fact that there's going to be a little bit of heat coming through the PCB and every bit of extra cooling you do is beneficial. Uh, this stuff forms really well around these tiny components. Um, if you ever needed to wash it later, you can scrape most of it off. It'll still be in a putty form. And then uh, between a soft bristle toothbrush and isopropyl alcohol, you should be able to clean it up without too much problem. Hey guys, just a quick note, you definitely want to put some thermal putty or a pad in this area here. Uh, I forgot to this time, so I had to go back and do it. But uh, yeah, make sure you don't leave that bare.
Thanks again for checking out my video. If you found this video helpful, consider hitting the like and subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time.